you may have seen the headlines, Earth spinning faster, Earth is whipping around quicker than it has in a half century, and yes, the Earth really is spinning on its axis faster than it ever has since we started using an atomic clock to time it back in the 60s. But who wants to lose mm, time, right. right? Maybe in 2020 we did. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe we were okay with that. Yeah. But yeah. typically, we, we want to slow we, time we down. Need, we need a little bit more time, I think, <laughs> sometimes, right? Okay, so you know, up until 2020, the Earth's rotation had actually been slowing. And there were 27 times since 1972 where there were leap seconds added to the atomic clock to account for the Earth's slowing rotation. So if you got a minute this morning, let me show you how much or maybe a little the Earth's spin has now slowed. So here we go. Let's bring up the Earth. Let's talk about this thing spinning, okay? We, we know this to be true, right? You, you know, one day is equal to one full revolution of the Earth, right? That's 24 hours or 86,400 seconds. Probably never thought about the seconds for a day. One millisecond, okay? This is what we're talking about here. One millisecond is 0 .001 seconds. It's a very short amount of time. On July 19th in 2020, that was the Earth's shortest day that we've actually recorded. That was 1.4602 milliseconds shorter than a standard day. Also, the 28 fastest days were also recorded in 2020. Let's talk about this here. Let me get on the other side of this screen here so you can actually see me. Okay, 86,400 seconds are in a standard day. We just went over that. A day in 2020-21 or 2021 will be 0 .00005 seconds shorter or roughly 0 0.05 milliseconds shorter could lead up to 0 0.019 second lag time in 2021. Now, if it's faster, if the Earth ends up being faster than 0.4 seconds than the atomic clock, a leap second will actually need to be added to that atomic clock. So a lot to go through there. And honestly, a um, the Earth had to speed up a little bit for us to lose that second. But planetary scientists have found that the speed of Earth's rotation varies constantly because of complex motions in the Earth's molten core, oceans, the atmosphere, snowfall levels, mountain erosion, and the pull of the moon. Now, some scientists have actually begun to wonder if global warming might be behind the Earth spinning faster as snow caps and high altitude snow begins to melt. The thing is, though, scientists will need more time to figure that out.